Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this organic villa in SketchUp. So let's get started. So first step, you need to create a line with just 30 feet. You can create a line with any length you want. Now click on Helix Long Curve. And let's put the dimension uh, which you are seeing on the screen. And let's click OK. And now select the same line. And click on Helix Long Curve. And let's change the radius 1 to 15 feet and radius 2 to 15 feet and uh, let's put the rest of the dimension the way it was and click OK OK we got the curve that, that we want now select this two curve and use the rotate command and click on this origin and let's rotate this uh, about 180 degree OK now we need to move this line from this point to uh, this end point OK that's perfect and now we need to create a smooth transition at these four intersections. So let's select all these curves and explode it. And now let's use the filler command from 1001 bit pro. And select this edge and this edge and put any filler radius you want and click OK. OK, now select this and delete it. Now let's use the same command for other three intersections. Now select this curve, triple click on it and right click and choose well to join it. And select this one more time and right click and choose bezel convert to polyline divider. And put any interval you want. I'm going to put about 12 inch and click OK. Now let's do the same to the other curve. And now let's go to the top view. Now let's use the line command and let's create a line from this edge to this edge. You can create anywhere you want. Now let's create the same line at this uh, section. Okay, because we want to split this curve. And now let's land the full curve which is on the right side. And use a soap scan command. And let's type the divisions uh, for 14. You can type any number you want. And hit the enter two times. Okay, now let's do the same to the other side. So select all these four curves. And type the divisions just like before. And hit the enter two times again. Okay, now we need to smooth the services. So let's select all these services. And let's go to the default tray. And let's go to soften edges and click on soften edges. Now let's select this surface. Uh, we need to make a copy. So let's use the move command. And let's copy and put it right here. You can place anywhere you want. Now let's delete the surface. We don't need it anymore. Now we need to copy this surface in the other direction. Let's copy it. Let's type uh, 15 feet or uh, 16, 17, whatever you want. You can put anywhere you want. And now we need to uh, copy this edges. So copy this and place it anywhere you want. Okay, now we need to use the S2 command uh, from the GHS power bar to S2 this agents. So let's open this GHS power bar and select this S2 and click on this origin and S2 it up to 15 feet. Okay, now let's do the same to the other agents. Okay, now select all these services and let's create a group from this. Okay, now we need to move these services to the, I mean, uh, from this point to this point. Okay, that's look great. Now let's move this all edges to their origin.
Okay, look like we need to reverse the services. So let's reverse it. Now select this edge and this Vadige reference line which is on the origin and let's make a copy of it. Okay, now we need to select this and let's extrude it. Let's use the extrusion from here and let's extrude it about 15 or 17 feet. Uh, the extrusion must be the same as uh, the previous services. Okay, now select this edge and we need to see the length of it. Okay, it is 215 feet for 3 by 8 inch. Now let's create a triangle from that dimension. Let's type 215 feet and for 3 by 8 inch. And enter. And let's create a vertical line. line. Uh, the line, I mean the length of line must be same as the institution height. Okay, we got the rectangle. Now let's create a group from this and now select this surface and create a group from this too. Okay, reverse this surface. Now we need to uh, use the line command and uh, click on this end point and click on this end point. And one more time, click on this end point and let's click on this end point because we are going to use the for is fine command. Now select this two line and create a group from this. Now select all these three groups and make a single group from it. Now let's go to the extension menu and let's choose the flow refine and click on impose grid. Okay, if the grid is bigger, we can use this surface. Now you have to create a pattern on this surface. I've already done it, which is this pattern. You can create any pattern you want. Now select this group and select this group and let's use the flow refine command and choose flow refine okay as you can see we got the pattern on the surface now we need to move this to the uh, correct location uh, which is to the surfaces so let's move it Okay, now we need to copy another edges. So let's select this edge. And we need to select the reference line too. And let's make a copy from it. Okay, now let's use the stu command from the GHS power bar. And stu it to the same height. Okay, now we need to create a rectangle just like before. So we need to uh, know the length of that curve. Uh, I have already known that, which is 136 or 38 feet. Let's create a rectangle from it. Okay, we got the rectangle. Let's create a group from this. Okay, let me show you the length of this curve, uh, which is 136 feet. So create a group from this surface now let's use the line command and connect this endpoint this point to this point and let's create a line from this point to this point now let's create a group from this two line okay now select all these three groups and make a single group now let's go to the extension choose glorify and choose impose grid now you need to create a pattern on this surface. Okay, as you can see, I have already created that pattern and I also created a group from that. Now select this group and select the previous group. Now let's use the Florifying command and choose Florifying. Okay, our pattern has appeared on the surface. Now let's move this pattern to the correct location. Okay, we got it. So let's see the result. Okay, look like it is perfect. Okay, now you need to use the same technique to create the pattern on the other surfaces. So take your time to do it. I'm not going to show that process. 
because the technique is same as before well as you can see i have created all the button on the services by using the same technique and by using the same command which is slowly fine i hope you got the same result now let's go to the top view and we need to offset this surface so let's use the offset command from the two on surface command okay let's click on this surface and let's offset this uh, about four feet you can offset any amount you want okay we got it now let's apply some texture on this surfaces let's use the uh, grass texture on this outer surfaces and let's use the tile texture for the center okay that's beautiful okay now we need to uh, move this whole model in the z direction so let's use the move command and let's move it about uh, 20 feet okay now let's go to the top view and you need to create this 2d sketch from the top view i mean at the origin you can use this dimension to create now let's let this services and delete it okay now let's unhide all the model again and delete i mean hide this group and this surface and this surface okay look like we need to uh, erase some of the edges too so select these edges and delete it now select all these edges and let's use the s2 command again and let's s2 it up to this point okay now we need to reverse this surface okay now select this all so triple click on this surface and we need to select the group 2 and right click and choose intercept with selection now select this group and hide it okay we need to draw a line from this endpoint in the z direction now let's delete the unnecessary faces and edges. Okay, I think we need to create one more line from this endpoint up to this edge. Okay, let's create a line from this endpoint uh, to uh, this point. Let's create, I mean, choose a line from the two on surface and create a line on this surface because this is a cap surface. You can use the regular line command. Now let's uh, delete the surface and edges, which we don't need it. Okay, that's look great. Okay, let's hide the model above this surfaces. Okay, now we need to copy this surfaces, so let's use the move command and click on this space point and create a copy and place it right here and let's create one more copy and place it anywhere you want okay now we need to create a frame from this services so let's unsmooth this services uh, use the soft hand edges and move the slider the way to the left okay now if you don't want you can use the erase command uh, to smooth these unnecessary edges by pressing control key and now we need to select all these surface and edges now uh, let's use the selection filter uh, select the face and delete it now we need to delete the edges from this bottom and uh, delete it okay now select the edges at the top of this line and delete it too Okay, now let's use the profile builder command. Uh, click here and use the profile any profile you want. And let's type the width and height 5 inch and click here. Okay. Okay, now select all these columns, I mean profile. Okay, let's create a group from this. Now let's apply a material. 
Okay, now we need to move this all to the origin. And place it right here. Now let's create another horizontal frame. Select all these edges at the bottom. Uh, we need to create an array from this. So move it, uh, place it right here by pressing Ctrl key. And let's type 7 divided. You can create any amount array you want. Okay, now we need to delete the unnecessary edges. So take your time to do it. Now select all these surface and edges. Okay, we need to use the selection filter again. Click on this surface and delete it. Okay, look like we need to erase the vertical edges. So use the erase command to delete it. I mean erase it. Now let's select all these horizontal agents and let's use the profile builder tree and click here. Okay, now let's use the same dimension as before, which is 5 inch, and click on this tool. I mean, command. Okay, we got all the frame that we need. Now select all these frame. Okay, deselect this line and create a group from this. Okay, now let's apply the black material on it. Oops. Uh, I need to apply the black material. So let's take a sample from this material and apply on this. Okay, now we need to move this to the origin. So select it and use the move command to move it and place it right at this origin. Okay, for the last time, uh, we need to apply the glass texture on this surface. So select it and use the glass texture and apply on it. Okay, that's good. Now let's unhide all the model. Okay, as you can see, I have deleted some of the horizontal frame uh, because the space is too tight. Okay, you can do it too. Okay, now let's use the original curve to create the railing. Now select all these curves and let's move it to the origin. And now let's move it in the Z direction. Okay, now uh, we need to use the Profile Builder Assembly dialog box again. You can use any railing you want. Okay, now click on this tool. Okay, we got the railing. But we still need to use this H. So let's use the S2 command. And let's do this edge up to 3 feet 5 inch. Okay, now we need to apply the glass texture on this surface. So select it and use the glass texture and apply it. Okay, now you need to use the same technique to create a railing on the other edge. So take your time to do it. Okay, as you can see, I have created the required railing. Now select all these railing and let's move it to the top edge of this model. Okay, after you have done the modeling process, uh, you can add the other component in your model. And you can also add some landscape on in your model. So take your time to make it more realistic look. Okay guys, that's all. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel. And see you in the next tutorial.